William Cash. Oh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, the motion that was passed yesterday relating to the Attorney General uh, related to the whole of the agreement, not just to the question to which the uh, letter which we've now had published relates, which is exclusively the protocol on North Ireland and Northern Ireland. Uh, Mr. Speaker, surely, given the fact that uh, under the Ministerial Code, it states the law officers must be consulted in good time before the government is committed to critical decisions involving legal considerations. And the Attorney General states that the international agreement is binding on the United Kingdom and the EU. Why is it that we have not had an opinion on matters such as the control over laws, ECJ jurisdiction, the incompatibility of the uh, agreement with the repeal of the 72 Act and matters of seminal importance to deciding this question. Prime Minister. To the, uh, to the Honourable Gentleman, that uh, I suggest he looks at the remarks that were made uh, in this chamber yesterday following the Government's announcement that it would indeed be publishing uh, this uh, final advice that was given by the Attorney General, which was asked for. Uh, he has referred once again to the issue of the 19, repeal of the 1972 European Communities Act. As I have answered him, I think, on more than one occasion in this chamber and in the Liaison Committee, it was always clear when the EU Withdrawal Act went through, which indeed did repeal the 1972 European Communities Act and bring the EU law, uh, a key the EU law into UK law, that in the, in the uh, uh, occasion that there would be an implementation period in which we were operating much as the same as we are today as a member of the European Union, then it would be necessary to ensure that the, uh, ne any necessary changes were made, and those changes would be made in the Withdrawal Agreement Bill, which will be brought before Parliament.